My imagination or are people who weren't raised in traditional religious households who haven't spent a lot of time thinking about theology all of a sudden talking about God a lot. Do you notice that? I do notice that, actually. And I think this is a good sign because you know, there's an old expression, right? If there's a hole the size of God in your heart and God does not fill it, something else will instead. That's what's happened in the last decade in our country. Something else, some secular religion has filled that void. But it hasn't really satisfied our moral hunger, right? And so that's kind of, that effect is fading. And I think people are hungry to turn back to the real thing. The conversation's coming up, but they say it with a kind of prudishness, yes. right? right? God is a four-letter word. It's sort of a thing you have to tiptoe around. And I think that right now, family's the same way, the nuclear family. Makes some people uncomfortable when I say it, but actually this is the best known form of governance to mankind. And so if we start talking more about, hey, that's what we're running to. That's actually what we stand for. Yes, we are one nation. I'm a citizen of this nation, not some nebulous global citizen somewhere else. That it is one nation under God. Yes, it is a nation that is stronger when we ground ourselves in the unit of the family. Then I notice something happens, especially for younger people across the country, Tucker, is they're more open to that message than they thought, but they need someone to serve it up to them. And I think as a, I'm, I'm the first non-politician, but I'm also a younger person in this race. I don't have a ton of experience running governments before, but I think in reaching younger people, that's something I feel called to do in this race, and it's why we're traveling college campuses across this country, and I am optimistic about what I see.